two, three, and... In Dr. Webb Parker's concert choir class at UND, Brianna Coates' voice is one of many. But hers sure does stand out. The sophomore and Franklin Central High grad has big dreams. I want to audition for the Met. I want to audition for Broadways. I want to, you know, just travel the world and sing all over the place and show my voice to people. And go. Brianna's classmates want a future filled with music too, and they are not letting this pandemic keep them from that. It's spirit. Music drives everything that I do in life. I am a music therapy major, so I would love to be a music therapist. It definitely makes me feel like I'm a part of something, especially here in the choir. Together, Dr. Parker and his students navigated the struggles of making music during an abnormal time for our world. Singing alone in your bedroom, looking at other people on Zoom is just not what choir was intended to be. We found ways to connect over, you know, the internet, but other than that, I still felt a little distant. But here, being closer to everyone, I feel more comfortable and happier here. These are different kinds of rehearsals, but they're still happening, with each singer spaced apart from the other, and their voices still resonating through their face masks. It's still happening despite the challenges. Dr. Parker has groomed promising singers on campuses in Maine and Mississippi. He's fairly new to UIndy and coordinates the university's choral program. In his short time here, Dr. Parker has discovered other hurdles brought on by the pandemic. I love to travel, go out to high schools, middle schools, community centers, churches, share with the community what it, what it is that we do. And that's been virtually impossible. We definitely want to respect the science, but at the same time, it's made it very, very difficult as a person who's in their first year in this position who really wants to get out and show people what we do here at the University of Indianapolis. Especially since he aims to recruit new talent to the university from area high schools. The inability to show up in high school classrooms can be a detriment for students who may have the talent but need that extra push and financial aid to hone their singing skills at the college level. With majors it tends to get out there but with non-majors or folks who are planning to come to college but not major in music they often don't know the questions to ask or don't even know that like those monies are available or that they can sing. It was a door that opened before the pandemic for someone who didn't even know if she should knock on it. At first I didn't know what, honestly, if I'd come to college or do something general and then just work somewhere, you know, but I was actually suggested to go here from one of my professors. He um, told me about the program when I was still looking for a college to go to, and I was like, okay, sure, I'll give it a shot. A decision her in-person audiences in the post-pandemic world will come to appreciate. Dr. Parker hopes through this story, budding singers and musicians come forward and consider continuing their music education. You can write Dr. Parker at his email, parkerw at und.edu, or you can look up the programs on the UND website. And by the way, all of the UND choirs have a concert coming up on May 2nd at 4 p.m. It's virtual and will be streamed on the university's Twitch channel.